my dudes! So today I figured I would do a bit of a mid-process uh, checkup or update. I'm in the middle of uh, my process of applying and getting accepted and, and stuff like that for studying Korean in Korea for a while. In my last video I sort of announced it and I said that I had my enrollment in place. Basically like my application has been approved and right now I am waiting to get my letter of... Right now I'm waiting to get my letter of admission which I need uh, to then take to the embassy so that I can apply for a visa and then after that I think I'll be done with like the application process probably but honestly like in this whole process of like from here to actually being there and studying I don't even know if I'm halfway I don't know if I'm 90% there I don't know if I'm less than halfway there I, I actually don't really no. And actually I have run into like, it's not really a problem, but I do have like an issue right now in the middle of this process, but I'll get to that. I'll take it from sort of the beginning, just kind of telling you what I've done so far. I might have to get my email up because that's sort of where I've gotten all the information. I don't know. I just wanted to do a quick, uh, <laughs> a quick update. And then maybe if I have time, I'll call my mom. I'm not going to put her on speaker because she doesn't know that I do YouTube. And so I don't want to put her on YouTube. But I can show you my part of the conversation because I haven't told my parents yet that I'm going. But if I have time, I have to leave for work in about half an hour and uh, I tend to talk way too much. Anyways, um, so it started back in April. I decided to go with uh, Gogo Hangok. I did a lot of research on my own before this about what schools to go to and stuff like that. And I looked a lot at like, you know, the most popular ones. But I ended up wanting to use Gogo Hangok. First of all, just because uh, I did email them just with like some general questions while I didn't necessarily have the full intention to use their service for actually like, all of the application but they were like the best place I felt that I could ask so I decided to send an email and ask and after that I just felt like I got good help just with my initial inquiry and they showed me the schools and I had a good look at the schools that they are partnered with and I ended up actually really liking a couple of them so yeah I figured uh, and also after even more uh, looking up online and reading on Reddit and like everything. The basically, uh, the difference in courses is probably not as big as I initially thought. I, I looked up so much. I had 70 something tabs open in my browser at all times for like weeks, <laughs> which is a lot more than my typical 40. <laughs> yes, I am that kind of person. But anyways, after doing a lot of research and thinking a lot, I kind of came to the conclusion in my own head that um, the differences probably aren't as major as you'd think because even if people have different books and stuff and different sort of curriculum and maybe like a different pace or a different focus overall a lot of your learning is going to come from the effort you put in yourself and you know the environment you're in i think being in korea and and having like a set course and things you're supposed to learn and like being kind of forced to focus every day on it and then also being in surroundings where you get to use it blah, blah 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 i think i think i can if i if i put in the effort it doesn't matter that much where I end up. So with that in mind, I decided to just kind of go with, okay, fine. I like the help that I got so far from Gogo Hangok. I'm going to take one of the schools that they're partnered with because I do like them a lot. I looked into it so, so much and I ended up choosing Hanyang. So after that, I got a long list of things that I needed to prepare. And some of it was really easy. Some of it took a bit longer. I had to, for example, I had to take a photo, uh, like a sort of passport style photo. I got like an, a guide for it and everything and like how it was supposed to look. Ended up taking it myself, just using like a cell selfie stick on my phone, finding a white background and just taking like a normal picture, making sure that I followed all the instructions. Sent that over, uh, scanned my passport, that was easy, sent that over. I got an application that I had to fill out. I did that digitally, so I opened it up in a PDF editing software and I crossed off the things and I put in the info, passport, information, whatever. There was also an essay at the end that you had to fill out. Uh, I had to do that twice, like I, I wrote that, sent that in, got a message back saying it's a bit too short so I should I tried to fill out the whole thing, so I did that. I have no idea how important that part was or is not. It got approved, but so that was the thing. Like the application took me like it took me a couple days just because I overthought uh, <laughs> the essay a lot. Like I was I kept thinking about it more than I probably had to. Uh, let's see what else did I need to do. Yes, the bank statement. Uh, the bank statement. I thought I'd have to wait longer for it, but actually it turned out I was able to do that a little bit sooner. You have to have a bank statement of 10,000 US dollars, which is a little bit annoying because if it if it's not actually supposed to be dollars, if it's more like it's supposed to be Korean won, then that's a lot less for me from like converting from Norwegian Kunalid. Like it's just, I know that between dollars and won, they kind of like, like uh, a thousand won is like one dollar pretty similarly. I know that that's a pretty good exchange, but for me, converting to dollars and converting to Korean won is actually quite different. So 
yeah, but it was in dollars. I, I managed to save up so much money and uh, just because I worked a lot and I put like all my money into my savings account. <laughs> so I did that uh, and I managed to get the back statement like a month earlier than I thought I would. And then there's also proof of health insurance coverage uh, that I could either get. Um, I did have a look at this for like travel insurance for students and stuff. I ended up uh, just saying that I wanted Han Young's group policy on my invoice. I think that turned out to be like 80,000 won and that's covering the whole six months that I'm gonna be there. It's just a health insurance. I don't have other insurance. I'm looking at it. I'm thinking about it. So yeah, I'm still thinking about that part, but I have like the minimum requirement, which is the Hanyang University's health, like group health coverage. And then I also had to have a resume because it's more than one year since I graduated high school. So that wasn't so hard. I already have that uh, relatively like finished. So I just wrote it down, you know, after high school, I worked here, I did this, I had a study year here, just basically filling in the space since I finished high school. Also before that, I think. Like, I think I did everything, like, from elementary school. I'm not sure. I think I did. And then the final thing that actually was a bit, like, uh, harder to get because it required a lot more steps was a proof of my graduation from high school or higher with a apostle? Is that the right way to say that word? And it had to be on an English version. So initially, like, I, first of all, I, I have no idea where my original high school diploma is. Probably at my parents' house, which is in a different city, because I only have a copy, apparently. I thought I had the original, but I do not. So I looked at getting it translated. It had to be translated by, like, a state professional for it to be, like, valid, which would cost me 2,000 Norwegian krone, uh, convert that as you wish. So, uh, but instead, I, uh, and I was like, that's expensive. So I contacted my high school. It's technically still not really operating anymore it was a private high school not like a fancy one just you know it was a privately owned company but it's it's like the, the the department in my city is actually closed down so I wasn't really sure where to go for that I ended up uh, calling like just like the general board um, is that the word for it like I called like you know I called somewhere and they sent me over to the school that was like in the city next over because I guess they took over the responsibilities from the one that I went to and I was like hey can I pretty pretty please have a new high school diploma and can you maybe make that in English and they were like sure and I didn't have to pay for it which was awesome because sometimes I heard you might have to pay a little bit for it so yeah did that didn't need to get a translation I could just get an original copy in English and then for the apostle I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say apostle and hope that that's the right way to say that word but for, for to get that uh, first I have to go to the courthouse and then I have to get notarial bekeftelse and then after that I had to go to a different place to the um, Statsforvalter uh, and they had to like basically put like another stamp on it so I had to go like to several different places to get the apostle on it and yeah it cost me like a little bit of money but it wasn't too bad and I think that was the documentation that I had to originally do and I think that's mostly what I've done so after that I sent everything in and then I th how long was it almost a week I think after that I got my en uh, my enrollment certificate which I which is when I shared the news with you so this all took uh, a bit more than a month I think the most time consuming ones was the high school diploma and also the uh, the bank statement because like the bank statement I needed I needed to get like another salary in there to get like the right amount of money and for the diploma I just needed to like make appointments and they weren't necessarily available on the same day and also I needed to get it from the school so you know I think that's all the documentation that I've had to get so far initially at least and then after that after I got my enrollment certificate I also got my invoice actually I paid my uh, application fee directly to Hanyang and then they paid it on my behalf to the school so when I got the uh, invoice it was still on the invoice but it was told I could like just deduct it because I had already paid it dum dum me paid it anyways because I just I just put the whole amount in there I might get it back I might not it was totally my fault so yeah I paid my application fee twice because I'm a dumbass not just my application fee I paid my tuition fee and the health coverage as well so I got an invoice for all those three combined oh my god was I stressed while trying to pay uh because it's it's not hard to pay from my local Norwegian bank to Korea necessarily. It's not hard, it's just nerve-wracking because it's different. In Norwegian, I, all I have to do is like put in the, uh, the account number and it will automatically fill in the recipients. Uh, and then I can put in like my uh, KID, like identification number, whatever, if I need it. It's fine. It's easy. It does, yeah, it's totally cool. Very easy. It's hard to mess it up sort of. But for an international transfer, they are not gonna tell me anywhere if I wrote a wrong number or if I wrote a wrong address or the wrong person or whatever. And it costs money to recall your payment. Like if I paid it out and I did it wrong and I want to withdraw it and like take it back, that costs money. Just paying itself also costs money. Like there are fees and like uh, currency exchange and all those things. Like there's just a lot more going on when it's like an international transfer directly to a bank. I did it. Uh, but yeah, that was nerve-wracking. That took me like 
way longer than it should have because I, I was just like, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? I kept checking and I, ah. But yeah, I paid my tuition fees. I paid everything. There's one thing missing before I get my letter of admission and that is that they have to receive the physical copy of my high school diploma with the apostle on it. And this is where my issue is because this is where I messed up because I am a royal dumbass. So I was told to use an express with tracking when I sent it and I, I checked the express things and express things would take like maybe four days and the normal sending would be six to eight days. So I actually ended up doing normal priority shipping but with tracking like i got tracking which was like four times more expensive but that's fine uh so you know did that paid for that that was cool and then here's where i messed up so when in norway when i want to send something with tracking i have to put, give that directly to a post office we don't really have any post offices left but we have like post offices in stores that basically function sort of the same way and i would have to give that directly to them so they can scan the tracking and you know, then it would be tracked. But I didn't catch that for some reason. It definitely was informed. I was informed of it. It was definitely on the website somewhere. But my dumb, dumb, dumb self just put it in a mailbox as I would do normal mail uh, because, you know, I didn't think about it. So it did, the tracking never updated. Like after four or five days, it still didn't update and I was getting kind of stressed. So I called the post office and I was like, uh, why is the tracking not updating? And then he was like, yeah, he looked into it a little bit. He was super nice. And he was, and he, we basically figured out that, yeah, it was because I had just put it in a mailbox. And then I went, oh no, what does that mean? Is, does it like, what do they do if they receive a letter that's supposed to be with track? Like, is it kind of a different category of shipments, sort of? Like, they think they're sent like the same, but it was supposed to be given to a person at the post office, right? So I was like, well, what, the, what happens then? Do they like throw it away because it was technically mailed wrong? And he's like, no, 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 we won't throw it away. It's probably sent just the same as normal, but as a normal letter instead of a letter with tracking is what he said. But he wasn't entirely sure because he hadn't really experienced this before because, you know, because I guess I'm a unique idiot. <laughs> Again, he was super nice about it, but I felt like such a moron because it, it, I, it definitely said so on the site that it had to be given to a mail office, not just put in a box. It definitely said so. I just, I just totally forgot about it. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, Gong Gong did email because I did send them the tracking info the day I sent it, but it never updated. And then I got an email uh, at the beginning of this week, I think, where they were like, So the tracking hasn't updated. Can you tell us why? Can you give me updated the tracking information? And I had to tell them that, you know, I, I sent it wrong. <laughs> but it should arrive in the same time. It's just we won't know until it arrives. Based on the estimated delivery time, it should have arrived either yesterday or today or the day before yesterday, like it depends a little bit because you know, there's a scope there. And I told them that if it doesn't arrive by the end of this week or like if I, ha if I haven't gotten a notice on like Monday or Tuesday that they have received it as they kind of should have, I'm gonna have to actually pay for like Super Express, which is a lot of money. And also I have to get, I have to get another copy with Apostle on it and stuff. So I have to pay for that as well. And it's just so annoying because, because, um, because it's so unnecessary. I hate when I make such unnecessary mistakes, but yeah, that's basically where I'm at right now. That's my little update, my, my uh, journey so far. I don't know if it was a little rambly, but I will make a new one once everything is in place and once everything's over and I'll talk exactly like, more detail about everything I had to do and everything like that. But yeah, I'm currently waiting to be told that Hanung University has received my graduation diploma because at that point they'll send me the the letter of admission and they'll send it by email so that I can take it immediately to an embassy. I emailed the embassy earlier and asked if it's okay if it's like they send it by email or if they need a hard copy. Email was okay. So yeah, there's so much to think about. It it, it hurts my everything. My entire being is in pain. <laughs> I have to leave in about 10, 15 minutes. Should I call my mom? Because here's the thing, if I call her now and I'm like, I have to leave for work in 10 minutes, then I, I can't get stuck in a two hour call where she disapproves of my life choices. It's not that my parents are like super dismissive or that they're super strict or they're really nice people. It's just, I understand that my way of doing things is not necessarily sensible. I don't want them to worry. I don't want them to disapprove. I don't want them, because they mean well. It's not like they're like, oh, this is a dumb thing to do. Why are you going to go to Korea? They know that I love Korea. So I think they're going to understand that part. I think they're just confused about my way of completing my education, which is uh, not focused at all. Okay, I'm gonna call my mom. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna share the conversation with you necessarily, but if she has a fun reaction, I'll uh, I'll put up the text for it. She doesn't know that I do YouTube, so I'm not gonna include her call in the video necessarily, but... Uh... Hi. Hi, mama. Hi. Hi, y'all. Uh, 
har så mycket tid nu för egentligen så skulle börja jobba halv fem men så blev jag spurt om att jobba fyra så jag måste gå mig så väldigt länge men jag har nog ändå så dela med dig såna du. Okej, okay, så du vet ju att jag har ju så jag skulle ju egentligen till Japan och så har ju inte Japan öppnat. Jag tror att de kommer att öppna på en stund heller. Och det var ganska kipt. Så if och så och så snuskar du i snacka med pappa och pappa var sån att du måste ju bara gå för det du verkligen har lust till, inte sant? Så bara vi satsa på det. Ja. Ja. Okej, okej. Nej men det är väldigt grejt att få dig att veta du bägge två. Så det i har gjort då. Så eh <laughs> i har sökt mig in och blivit accepterat till ett språkstudie vid ett universitet i Korea. <laughs> ja. Det är egentligen så annorlunda än att de skulle dra till Japan då. Det började de dra till Korea istället. <laughs> so I just got off the phone with my mom and my dad. They were in the car. I told them. I finally told them after like two months of keeping this all to myself, not telling anyone in the family. I finally told them. And they took it pretty well. I do not have time. But overall, it went about as good as I could possibly have hoped for. <laughs> Basically, they were not surprised. They were okay with it because they're like, it's very you. We kind of expected it. We kind of kind of kind of anticipated, "Hey, where are you leaving?" Okay, so essentially, they were like um first they were surprised. Uh and when I said so, like I'm going to Korea to study, and my dad just kind of went Oh. Uh but then after like the initial surprise, uh they were like, "Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, we kind of anticipated something like this." I have mentioned to my grandma that I was working on a different like like a plan or something to do, but I I hadn't told anyone what, and you know, she told them that, you know, there's something going on. And they and yeah. I asked them if they were surprised or shocked, and they were like, "No, not really. It's very Yeah, we kind of expected this from you. I told them, you know, it's very it's very typical me behavior to to go ahead and like study a, like a language in a different country than I'm supposed to. And they're like, "Yeah, it's very you." <laughs> Overall, they were happy for me or at least they're not, they weren't disapproving. They, I think I think we've gotten to a good place where they just kind of learned to accept that whatever I do, I just end up doing it anyways. Is it sensible? Who knows, but it's what I want to do. And they're very nice about that, so it went well. I was so nervous. I am shaking. I'm literally shaking. Um <laughs> but now they know. My mom was going to call and tell my grandma. I would have done it myself, but I have to leave for work now. So yeah, catch out of the bag. And now my diploma just needs to freaking arrive. Hopefully, it will uh, hopefully I'll get a message on Monday being like, "Okay, they got it. Here's your letter of admission." And yeah. Um yeah. No, I need to go to work. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this update. If you have any questions, any thoughts, whatever, just let me know. And I'll I'll see you next time. Subscribe for the journey, I guess.